Good morning. Day 754 in our series 2 to 5. Still in the airport today. Uh, actually, pretty proud of myself this morning. Um, again, just assembling uh, some of these clips together. Uh, had a couple transitions that I didn't really like, but I just kept kind of chipping away at them, sort of massaging them a little bit cutting off a few frames here, adding a few frames there. And then, I don't know, I had a little little revelation, I guess. Um, and I remember, so the, the scene was one where I had two actors that were walking away from a counter and we didn't really pick them up until, uh, you know, like a few seconds later. I had some extras walking across the scene, and I, it, it just didn't quite fit the way I wanted it to. Um, we had, I think we had too many extras walking in front, so it was just too long of a time period uh, before we picked up the two lead actors coming along. And so I, I remembered we had another shot, uh, which showed them at the counter um, walking away, right? Because uh, the way I had originally, I had held on one of the actors there for a while, and like I said, when I went to pick up the two lead actors, uh, it just, it was too long a time period, and it just felt very awkward. But like I said, then I remembered I had another shot that kind of, I don't know, like started, it was, it was a two shot, but you could see them walking away. So rather than ending the scene on the one actor, I actually cut back to these two and showed them walking away uh, and then picked them up um, a little bit later. I had one, I flipped back to the one actor uh, for a second, which kind of in your mind gives the two lead actors a little bit of time to get to the spot where I needed to pick them back up. Clear as mud? Yeah, no, it's hard to explain. But anyway, I, I just had this... I don't know, just this thought as I was going through it, I'm like, oh, I have that shot. Because there was just a gap in time where I, you know, your brain couldn't quite, or my brain couldn't quite pick up uh, the connection between the two. So I just kind of cut one of the clips off, added in this other clip of the, the two actors, and, um, and then that kind of filled in the gap between the two, so... This is kind of like what editing is. Very hard to explain, but uh, when it works, so when I put it all together, you could see it just it just clicked from one clip to the next clip to the next clip. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect. It makes sense. And, uh, you know, it's nice. It's almost like a Rubik's Cube. It's nice when all of those things sort of snap into place, you know, turn into place, twist into place, whatever Rubik's Cubes do. Um, but you know when it's right and you know when something's off. It's just a challenge to try and figure out like what it is specifically and also how to fix it. So anyway, I fixed this one this morning. That's it for me today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all.